my beautiful people? What is up, my tribe? What is the vibe? So, in today's video, okay, as you can see by the title, all right, you know, the enemies, our enemies are stuck in, they're stuck in the energy that they, they put out, okay? Um, you know, it's true. The energy that we have, the energy that we live in, the energy that we give to others is going to be around us, okay? So, you can be mad all you want, okay, over there, all right? And you can be looking at someone across the room from you, okay? Or whomever it is. You can be so mad at this person, okay? And you're sending all that anger towards them. But if this one person that you're sending the anger to is is so focused on God, is a chosen one, is a spiritual warrior, Joshi, hold on. If they are in a different energy than you, there is nothing that you do that you send across to that person that is going to marinate on this person, okay? You can't send negative energy and want it to hit someone, okay, and let them be in that same energy. It doesn't work like that. And your enemies are, they don't understand that. I'm going to say, I was going to say that, you know, they're understanding, but a lot of them don't. They don't understand that whatever they put out is what is going to come back to them. It's going to marinate around them, okay? Not who they're sending it to, all right? With that being said, they're stuck in the energy that they meant to send for you all right your enemies are stuck and for some of them it's like quicksand all right quicksand you guys know what quicksand is they're sinking okay they're sinking and you can't swim in quicksand you can't swim you can't do anything but move your body in quicksand you can't you can't get out okay so your enemies are stuck okay in the energy which is quicksand that they wanted you to be in and now they are living it okay and that is something that once again they brought upon themselves let's go with it all right they are being attacked by spiritual and physical demons, okay? Your enemies are being attacked day and night by spiritual and physical demons. And if they are not being attacked, they are going to be attacked. Because the cycles of, of these karmics, you know, these karmics and these enemies, they're closing, okay? They're closing. For people like me and for people like you, we are headed in a beautiful direction that nobody is going to be able to touch us on, okay? Spiritual and physical. We have been attacked spiritually heavy, all right? And I know it because I'm a, you know, I can feel it, right? But it does not penetrate me and it will not penetrate you. But the fact that we got to go through this and we got to under, we got to, you know, think about it on these days where we are feeling attacked. God is saying no more because we have things to do, okay? God is about to block out. He is blocking out every single thing that a karmic, that an enemy is sending towards me or you. They will not even get a chance to tap into anything, to any of our energy because a lot of them are trying to do divination and do, do different wicked things, okay, to try to tap into our energy, okay? But they are being blocked. They will be blocked on all, every they won't be able to do anything all right um so they're being attacked they're being attacked by everything that they sent for you all right they are surrounded by heavy dark energies that want want they they wanted these energies to harass you but they are in so much darkness and in, in the mental okay physical and spiritual your enemies are darkness and it's heavy and it's sad to say, but a lot of them may be like in complete depression, like complete depression, um, anxiety, um, because, you know, and it, it, for me, guys, as a good person, I'm like, okay, that's sad. You know, I don't want to see anyone going through something like that. But, and then you think, well, they wanted a lot of us to be in this situation. They wanted a lot of us to even die. Do you understand that? And it's like, well, well, you know, should I have, you know, as a human I don't want anybody to hurt or suffer. So I do not want that even for my enemies. But I understand that God is in control and God knows what to do with these people. Yes, baby. He calls everything doo-doo now. My daughter said doo-doo and now everything is doo-doo. Doo-doo mama, doo-doo daddy, doo-doo sister, doo-doo brother, doo-doo George Pig, doo-doo doo-doo, doo-doo 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 all right but anyways let's keep going here he's no, doo-doo jj doo -doo, jj Every, everybody that that has a title is is doo-doo in front of it so you know uh-huh okay let me finish my video okay um for um kids. they try to take uh food and wealth from you yeah. okay our enemies try to take food out of our mouths they try to take our inheritance they try to take our wealth they try to take our love life they try to take Joshi, Joshi, no, 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 no. Joshi, wait till I'm done with my video. I'll give you some jelly beans, okay? I'll give you jelly beans. Okay, so they tried to take everything, okay? They literally have prayed, okay? 
to, to Satan, okay? Don't get into it. They, they prayed. They did spell work. They went to tear card. They did the most trying to take what is ours so that we won't be ha um, happy or healthy. This is how sick and twisted our enemies are, okay? And there's thousands of them, okay? And this is very sad that my story can connect with a lot of people's story. It's really, really sad that there's so many wicked people out there in this world. There's people who try to take food out of my boy's mouth, okay, by coming after me. When you come after me, okay, you come after me or anybody, you're trying to take away from me and my kid an innocent child and that is something that god does not play with especially with a person like me a chosen warrior you do not do that okay and that that is why it's like pamela well don't be upset about what your enemies are getting because of what they are trying and trying to do to you and my tribe okay it does you know what i mean a kind heart is good but leave it at that let god do the rest and that is exactly what we are doing um just for that, they will be in hunger, okay, for decades or more. So what I'm saying to you, and I'm saying to you right now, is that these people who tried to make you be in poverty, these people who wanted you to suffer, okay, when you didn't even want them to suffer, you didn't want any of these things in, to happen to them, but they sought after it for you. So what are, what are they going to receive? They're going to be um, in poverty. Joshi, Joshi, no. They're going to be in poverty. They're going to be in lack for decades, okay? Decades, and some for the rest of their lives, okay? Why? There's things that your enemies have done to you guys, you watching, that you don't even know about, okay? They have tried to do the most to you, including hurt you in the physical, killing you. I'm telling you, they've tried the most, okay? And for all of these people who tried the most, the most and more is going to happen to them. And it is not something that you want or I want. It is what is going to be done. They are in quicksand, all right? Quicksand, all right? Let's keep going. Um, they wanted you to beg, okay, and be without, and that that's deep. There's a lot of people who are who wanted me to beg. They wanted me to be without. They wanted my kids to be without. When you want someone to be without, let alone an innocent child, you are asking for a heavy, heavy darkness around you. You are asking for it. And the fact that they, they didn't tap into your charts well enough, they didn't tap into my charts well enough to see who I am and to see who you are, that is where they, they, they failed. Okay, now you can't attack anyone like this, but when you attack someone who is completely connected to God, okay, connected to God, connected to God, that is when you really messed up. You messed up. You went, you targeted the wrong person. When they targeted me, when you target me or you target my children, you're targeting the wrong person. Tribe, you watching. When they target you, they're targeting, they're targeting the wrong person, okay? And they are finding out right now about what the consequences of that is, okay? Heavy karma. Too much time was spent on trying to hurt us. Too much time, okay? Too much time. Someone took their time, okay? Every single day, they were trying to do spell work to come up against us. Every single day. What life do you have where you want to just literally think about hurting someone who is literally not thinking about hurting you, okay? Okay, they, they should have used, okay, time to change. Okay, our enemy should be changing right now. Everybody who is your enemy who tried to go up against you, they should have changed right now. For me, guys, it's been months. It's been almost a year. For me, it's been a long time. For you, it's been months, almost a year as well. And nobody has changed. Nobody has changed to become a wise person. Why? Because they're hanging around the wrong people, okay? And they're attached to Satan. Satan does not want change. God wants change, okay? And your enemies went through a lot because God gave them mercy. God wanted them to change, but they didn't, okay? But who changed? Change me who changed you tribe we change for the better because we are growing learning and evolving and we are going to be abundant in so much of our lives we are changing and they are not all right let's keep going here um karma is setting in okay and your enemies need to get comfy they need to get comfy they need to settle on in to that karma to that quicksand that they're drowning in and they need to get comfy grab your blankets enemies okay because you can't get out of this one you cannot get out of this one you have done the most to good people you cannot get out of this one okay and still no remorse and still no apology and still no growth okay you will go nowhere but with satan you're holding satan's hands when you do not grow when you do not become wise when you do not say i'm sorry and have true remorse okay you're not growing the enemies are not growing okay um all of these people who sent you the evil eye even without doing spell work if anybody is sending you the evil eye or me or anybody okay that is not doing anything to them it is going to be automatically sent right back you don't have to say a prayer you don't have to do anything it's automatically back to them all right but stay up on your prayers all right um, we are strong. We are courageous. Okay. We all need to continue to stick together chosen ones and spiritual warriors. What they do will not penetrate us. It will not harm us. It will not harm us in the spiritual or the physical. Okay. It is all sent back to them. All right. 
If God says, okay, it's go time. And God is saying, it's okay. God says it's go time for his people. It's go time for us, right? You guys may have felt, okay, stagnant at one point. You know, it's normal. Because like I said before in the beginning, there's a lot of spiritual attacks that are being sent our way. So we're not going to be stagnant, but we're going to feel like it, okay? Because we're, we're processing this energy, okay? That we have to unknowingly and unwillingly um, rebuke it, okay? And push it away. So that, that takes something from us, but it doesn't take all of us or even close to half or more, okay? But it takes something of us because we're aware of the energy that they're sending, okay? But God says st that stagnant feeling is no longer going to be there for you, okay? Because I am releasing everything. I am releasing everybody that is trying to come up against you, right? Let's keep going here. You guys were shielded, but were able to see, as I said before, you guys were shielded, but were able to see and feel what the enemies were doing for a reason. He wanted us to see and feel the false solutions, okay? He wanted us to know right now, before we go to the next level, what's real and what's fake, okay? And everything that they send you is fake, an illusion, all right? It's real for them, though. Um, good luck to the next fool who tries to come up against us. Good luck. Good luck. Because with the servant and everything and more, we got this tribe, okay? Um... Yeah, guys, you guys are awakening, okay? You're awakening, I'm awakened, and this is a beautiful journey that we're on. I'm super, super excited and thrilled, but with that being said, that is the end of this video. Your enemies, our enemies, are in straight-up quicksand, okay? There is no escaping, there's no getting out. They have to get a, a, a blanket, okay, and get cozy, okay? Because they are still not sorry. They're still not sorry, all right? They're still not sorry for what they have done. They're still not growing. They're still not becoming wise. They're stuck. All right, love and light. Follow me on here. Oh, no, I wouldn't tell you guys follow me on TikTok, but um, I don't even know my name name on there because I just post and whatnot. But um, subscribe to my channel, guys. Subscribe to my channel on here. God is doing so many good things for us. Okay, love and light. Bye.